Welcome to Food Life. I am your host, Andy Stefani, founder and CEO of Food Life. Thank you for joining us, everybody, to Food Life, Setting the Table. This is episode four. Thank you all for joining us. Um, wanted to uh, just continue on in our journey of launching a startup company. Today, we are going to be talking about, I guess you could consider it, realizing paths to success. So we've talked a little bit about the vision, talking about recruiting people, um, and, and as I believe you all are familiar with right now, we are a very early stage startup. There's been uh, about three or four people that have worked for Food Life, not including myself. However, we have all those people have come and gone, and it, it is back to just me and one other person uh, helping us on the social media side. But really, the core part, building the iOS app, there is nobody but myself. Now. As I've spoken about earlier, I do not have uh, very much programming skills. I took a little bit of MATLAB in college, and that was like one or two courses. Did not do very well, did not really dive into it. Um, but now I am at the point, kind of the intersection where I've been talking with different people, trying to reach out, talking with different professors and, and different people, and I'm, I'm really kind of out of resources at this point. I don't have anybody that I've, I've really had communications with that they're excited about coming on to Food Life. So enough with all that negative stuff. I am going to learn how to code. <laughs> so as we build up our social media presence, I am taking it all my, upon myself to learn how to program. And because I believe I have an iPhone app and really the, the main audience at least starting off is going to be people that predominantly have iPhones, I am starting to learn how to program. So I actually, as we speak, as I am recording this, I am downloading Xcode which is Apple's platform uh, where you can then develop an app that you use a programming language called Swift. I've been doing a lot of research, but what I really just wanted to talk to you guys about today is, is as you can see, I don't know how to really code, never really done it, wasn't the greatest in college uh, by a long shot, but this is probably the most critical part about a startup is there's a lot of things that you aren't gonna know how to do. And especially if you're younger and you don't have a, a huge network, you're gonna have to even do even more on your own. So, I am learning how to program. It's very exciting. I, I know I've, I've done a, it before, like I said, I wasn't very good, but now I'm, I'm going at it with a new open-minded approach because I really have a vision, I have a, uh, a project, a company that I really want to start. I have a lot of the design and now we're going to dive into it. So um, this is going to be still an overview of the whole company, everything that's going on, but I think I can foresee going forward a lot of it is going to revolve around and me learning Xcode and kind of talking about um, what it's like starting from not really knowing how to code at all to launching a startup company that will truly disrupt the entire food industry and for all you viewers right now you're going to be seeing in a couple years down the road a, a truly industrial scale company that is going to be starting just from the ground and, and with somebody like myself where if, if I can't I don't know how to code and then I can create something that can truly be adopted by globally you can too as well so thank you for joining us Again, this was another episode of Food Life, Setting the Table. Have a great one, everybody.